Hi guys, you ever had a problem where you download a file off the internet and it looked like this and you're trying to get it to go to your WBFS and you can't upload it and you want it to look like this? Well, this is what you do. First, you need to download a program called We Backup Manager. Right here it is. I already have it open. <laughs> so you go here, you plug in your WBFS drive that's already been formatted. You find it, you activate it. You click on drive here, and wherever that that's at, mine's on F, that's where it's at. Down here, it should say drive F, which is whatever your number is, so drive whatever your number is. It should say WBFS, and then your free space and your total space. I have nothing on there right now. Then, you want to go to Files. And then you want to go to Add Files. Wherever your file is, well, mine's in the desktop for this. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find it. Right down there. I'm going to double click on it. It's in here. Now I'm going to check this little box right here. Put a little check mark in it. Now I'm going to go to transfers up here. And then there's an option called ISO. I'm going to click on that. Then it's going to ask where do I want to save the ISO file to. I'm going to say the desktop. And I'm going to push OK. <clears throat> and then the ETA estimated time is over here. You wait for that to finish. And then it will switch it back into a file like this. And then you'll be able to use your WBFS Manager 2.5 or whatever version you're using, like you usually do, and actually transfer the file to your hard drive. You could use this without converting it, the Wii Backup Manager, and put it to the hard drive. But I preferably like using the WBFS Manager. And I like to keep my files, ISO, all saved on my computer, not WBFS. And if you're anything like me, you'll want to have all your files, ISO, saved on your computer. Because I want to burn all my files to a DVD. And I can't burn my files with IMG Burn with the WBFS format. So we just wait for that to finish. It's almost done there. I think it's adding a file right over in here. And then it'll turn into a ISO format like this one down here. Just a few more minutes, a few more seconds, I'm sorry. The game I'm doing right now is Medal of Honor's Heroes 2. It's almost at 90%, 91. I'm sorry the camera doesn't work too great. 99, 100. Alright. Now we'll close this out. Then we'll open up the WBFS. Then you find your drive letter, which mine is F, and then you click load. 
and then you'll come over here to browse and then we'll go to desktop and then we'll come down and we'll find that file Medal of Honor Heroes 2 open add to drive that's the file that we just converted from here from WBFS into an ISO Medal of Honor Heroes 2 now we could also use IMG burn like this I'm actually burning the current right now well oh, actually I'm burning Medal of Honor Heroes 2 ISO but uh you just click on the top one here add ISO images to a CD and then you burn at 1 or 2x that's what I always burn at I don't burn no faster than 2 yeah it takes a while but uh, the longer it takes the better off you are <coughs> and then um then you could play them on your Wii but right now we are adding it to the WBFS drive we converted the WBFS format into a ISO completed adding entries Medal of Honor 2, Heroes 2 alright then you can come down here and safely remove you always want to do that USB mass storage device is now safe to be removed from the computer come back here unplug that one and then we'll come over here turn this around that's my one of my memory cards that I can put SD cards in like so my little buddy over there alright plugged her in the lights on ready to rock alright where's the controller right here that's game night game night just downloaded alright USB loader GX start alright and then we're gonna go to here we're gonna switch the way the view, views and then we're gonna come over here and click on here we're gonna click on 3d covers and original disk carts and then click OK found two missing images yes download 3d covers I'm on the internet right now using a bunch of doing a bunch of stuff that's why it's running a little slow trying to get on the internet all right all images download successfully and then click okay and we're gonna go to here see now we got the disc cover the case and the disc cover let me turn this up a tiny little bit this is first time trying this download looking good so far still looking good
still ain't home free yet. We gotta make sure it gets past the loading screen. The tide of war finally shifted from the successful landing on the beaches of Normandy. So now it's up to you, Lieutenant. Failure is not. There's the loading screen. Down here in the corner right here, it says loading. If you can't see, it's kind of dark over there. Nah, it works. Shoot all my buddies. Alright, well, that's the tutorial there for changing a WBFS format to an ISO format. So, um, you can add to your drive with the WBFS manager or to be able to burn your WBFS files with IMG burn, which you can't until you switch them to ISO, which now it's converted to ISO. So now you can burn it to a CD. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Bye.